Welcome to a session of Composite Chalk Talk. My name is Peter Tran, VP of Product Marketing at Composite Software. In this session, we will do a quick introduction to data virtualization. Data virtualization really starts with its applications. These applications are, more often times than not, some type of SQL client or some type of web services client. These applications require data that is usually scattered throughout the organization in a relational database, in a package application, in a data warehouse, or even in the cloud. Getting the data from the data sources to the applications that need it is oftentimes a cumbersome task. That's where data virtualization comes in. Data virtualization is about accessing data from the various disparate data sources, combining the data if necessary, and delivering it to the applications that need it. There are many mechanisms to access data from these various data sources, namely ODBC, JDBC, Web Services, JMS Messaging, and APIs for the package applications. Similarly, delivering the data also leverages open standards such as ODBC, JDBC, ADO.NET, Web Services, JMS, and more. There are many benefits to using this approach for data integration. You get fresh data. There's less replication involved, or none at all. The approach allows for quicker time to solution thereby allowing the business to reap the benefits of projects a lot sooner. And data virtualization is easy to use. You're leveraging the existing knowledge of data modeling and data paradigms you're already familiar with. And overall, the cost of data virtualization is much lower than alternatives. Data virtualization is oftentimes confused with other types of integration. One type is EAI or an ESB. This type of integration is typically used to send messages from one application to another, usually for the purposes of business process automation. Another type of integration is ETL. ETL is often used to pull bulk information from one or more data source and loading it into another repository really for time series analysis and multidimensional data analysis. Data virtualization is really about providing data on demand, delivering it directly to the applications that need it. So in quick summary, there are two major benefits to data virtualization. The first is that it is an easier, faster, and cheaper alternative to doing data integration. Second, it provides the benefits to the business a lot quicker because it allows you to bring solutions to market or to the business a lot quicker. And that's a quick overview of data virtualization. Again, my name is Peter Tran of Composite Software.